Mm, sometime now. Sometime. We're probably live right now. It, it like shows yeah. me like, hey, you've been live for six seconds. Ha ha. Sure, sure, sure. Four sure. seconds, five, six. Yeah, now we're live. Dan, have you watched? Have you watched WandaVision yet? I have not. So oh my goodness. I know. So we can't do spoilers on this. I'm not doing we're gonna spoilers. lose. Not. We'll lose whatever <laughs> viewers we had. Yeah. No, so I, I can't yet. Uh, you can't so, watch it on your phone, like it. Well, did I? I mean, so Disney Plus doesn't allow us to use Lightning um, to HDMI cables. I don't even know what these kind like, of problems are. Yeah, I'm with you. So we we are getting the bigger router, the the better LTE router. Um, later this month, so, and I paid for the deposit on Starlink. It was like five hundred uh, bucks, wasn't it? No, it's just it's just ninety nine for the uh, deposit, and then uh, the equipment will be five hundred later this year. <coughs> um, Oof, have you avoided spoilers on it like completely? No, we, no, not we were really. Talk, no. We've been talking about it in the click stuff. Chat. No. I, <laughs> You know, I mean, I watch, I, I, I um, engage in too much social media mm-hmm. to to avoid it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I just accept that as part of it. Now, like, like if it's a big movie or something coming up, I will actively avoid yeah. social media for a while. But uh, WandaVision is not something that like is high enough on my scale. Man. Like, I, I get that. I've heard, and, and, I've heard that it's good, right? But it's yeah. not like, like if it was Iron Man Vision, right? <laughs> well, we are so getting like, we are getting Armor Wars at some point, so yeah, true. Um, I right now I have it slightly above average when compared with all the Marvel movies. Like it's probably on the lower end of the top third of Marvel movies if you compare it like that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's fine, right? I mean, we'll probably watch it on my iPad <laughs> at some point. Um, but yes, you are correct. It is country people problems. Um, it's but for the overwhelming majority, I mean, I'm here today just fine. So um, hey, it's it what it is. I will say, like nothing about the show. I just mean, I like it, it's very promising. Um, it doesn't feel like a TV show. It feels like a movie that they've split up into. Right. That, it's... which is what I want from Marvel Cinematic Universe TV shows. Like, I don't want it to be episodic where it's like, a. I mean, I do, but I also don't want it to be like, we have to wrap up this one inner show, like inner episode plot point to wrap it up for next week's <laughs> show because it's a new, you know, like I'm watching yeah. CSI or something where they're self-contained. Like, so no, uh, it, it seems like they're taking it as seriously as the movies, like as far as like interconnectivity and quality and everything. So, yeah, so I hope that I hope that expands to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I hope it expands to the What If series. I know those will be a little different because right. those they're will be they are going to be self-contained episodes, I right. guess. <laughs> And it's a cartoon, but um, I'm excited about this. Um, all right, so we got nine people watching. We'll get some more people in. Maybe we lost people because they thought we were going to spoil WandaVision. Don't worry, we're not. Uh, we're here to talk about um, kind of what we learned today. We learned yeah. some things today. Um, right, so I think we got to, I think we'll go ahead and preface the conversation with. Throughout all of this, we've had to make some assumptions, uh-huh. right? Yeah. We've had we've had to be predictive or uh, conjecture, right? We don't knew we don't know all of the uh, intricacies, right? <coughs> we don't, don't have all of the wording, but yeah, we don't have uh, any powers listed. Like any of these powers could have some slight text wording. changes that completely. Yeah change how they actually work but we don't have any of that we have hearsay no i'm just kidding yeah yeah i mean we like 
So they, they just listed that there are power actions still, and then there are, instead of close and range, there will be attack replacements and attack improvements. Right, so they're keeping, they're not doing away with close actions, range actions, or power actions. Those all stay. It's just right, basically right. everything in the attack improvements list will no longer have that caveat listed on them, where it's like, hey, uh, Quake has to be with a close action, you know, close action, target everybody, so, you know, adjacent. Like, that's gone. It's just the attack replacements and that have the close or range and then the power actions have power action so the the attack improvements don't won't will no longer have those dedicate like they said they'll be removing their dedicated actions so there's a lot of um so they're basically everything in the attack improvements is effectively a passive a passive effect kind of like precision strike was before yeah, it's a, it, they're going to be passive, but they have requirements still. Or, like, some... It's our assumption. Well, no, I mean, like, Blades, Claws, Fangs is one person. Like, it says one figure <laughs> when you target a single character. Does it? And, well, they even mention it further down. It's like, for example, Blades, Claws, Fangs only works on a single target, but Quake might give you multiple targets. Okay. So, th so, right. so there's still certain abilities, not all of them just... Blan uh, like blankly work together like hey you can use <laughs> see this list of powers you can use them all together like no there's still pen size only range exploits only close there's some that there's still some questions on um <laughs> depending on wording in cap is probably one of the biggest ones but the key takeaway uh to before we start our speculation discussions is that they are kind of separating how we should feel about these and that flurry mind control energy explosion and pulse wave they obviously don't work together but they are kind of like their own separate they replace attacks is what they're saying and then you have your power actions attack improvements may work with some of these like it like they should but not don't assume Oh yeah, in cap is just going to work with everything, or precision strike right. is going to work with everything because precision strike it's, doesn't. So. It's so weird because, like, based on how they have it worded, um, I, I, it can be some really crazy stuff, right? Like you could triple mind control, and then if you have in cap and knockback for some reason, you would also give them all a token and knock them back after after everything's resolved. Mm -hmm. Like based on everything here, it seems like that should work. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> but we don't know. And right, right. Like in the, my my example that's in my head, right, is in a, and then a kind of a, a spoiler for the podcast that we're currently recording, where we <laughs> talk about the new alchemist po potion, alchemist potion, right, um, is that it deals penetrating damage, right, which combos with pulse wave. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not uncommon. To be able to combo pulse wave and side blast, so it seems if, like that would work now. Right, that seems like that that would work. So that was my big one, right? Because it's to me, it's always how do you multi-target pulse wave, Phoenixes. a bunch of windigos or phoenixes, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think it's. A, Sorry, keep going. I think I think that to me that that's the biggest situation, like because that worked before. Um, and then like pulse wave precision strike worked before before uh, um, to get rid of did it? Uh, it pre 2017 it did okay I wasn't I thought it still had single target use but you've been great I don't remember no yeah it, it switched to that um, okay. uh, in the new the new thing so um, you know that's the there's lots and lots of combos right like in cap and energy explosion. I don't know. We are we going? To, are we good to talk about conjecture now, Alex? Did you have anything else you wanted to? So let's talk about the ones we we know of first. I think like <laughs> so, they they think... explicitly said you know you can't use TK with running shot because they're two power actions, but you could now charge flurry quake close combat expert steel energy in one move. Wait, charge flurry quake. Oh, so you can Flurry Quake. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and that's one of the questions. Richard Shaw, I want to know how Flurry and Quake are going to combo now. So 
they should combo. Um, okay. You're still going to be limited. Still optional. <laughs> right. I, I, it probably is. Um, right. Yeah. But I think it is anyway. They said in the last article. But uh, the you'll still be capped at the two damage, right? Because because that's just how quick works. If it's a multi-target. If yeah, it's if it's multi-target. If it's single target, you, you do full damage, but at that point, why are you using Quake? Um, unless you have something, a special power. Yeah, the, the, the knockback. Right, but you don't want to do that, that with Flurry. You'd want to do that with the, I guess, second attack of Flurry. Like you don't yeah, want to I mean, first I... attack Quake. Whoops. Uh, well, there that goes. I guess it depends. And they might I, take I can... knockback away from Quake. I wouldn't be surprised with that. Make super strength a little bit stronger. Uh, yeah, it's true. Maybe. I don't think they'd want to make Quake weaker, though. Well, Quake's arguably stronger now that you can use it with Flurry, and that's yeah. about it, Flurry. Right, so so if we want to break no, down exploit. their statement... You should be able wanna... to Quake exploit, right? Well, if we want to break down their statement, right? So let's break down what we know works together for sure. And that's what they said works together. Yep. Okay. So close combat expert working with charge is the first obvious combo, right? Because close combat expert is just always on. You get the plus one, plus one. Um, so the new <coughs> situ uh, the other existing situation is still energy works when you make close attacks, presumably. It's presumably not changing to range attacks, too. It could, but... You know, Steel Energy working with close attacks. That's always worked with Flurry, Quake, Close Combat Expert, you know, any of those, right? So uh, what stayed the same was Charge and Flurry used to be the only option because it was a big close. Well, now the new thing is Charge and Flurry and Quake work together. So Flurry... Well, so, would seeming, was Flurry now would seemingly give you two Quakes if you want to do two Quakes. Yeah, so the thing that changed was... So Flurry, it seems like, still requires a large close. So Flurry doesn't seem like it changed um, in the wording, but there's a lot more right. yeah, passive yeah. effects that stack with it now. Yes. Quake, Close Combat Expert. It seems like Exploit is two, um, unless yes. they're, they're adding a modifier to that where it has to be a single target. Otherwise, Quake, Exploit becomes really good yeah but <laughs> you also have to think keep in mind there's not a ton of people that have quake exploit and there's nothing currently outside of like exospecs that gives quake like there's nothing that currently gives exploit outside of the gauntlet i don't believe currently um, crowbar's not legal anymore, right I yeah I, I i was looking at the, the <laughs> thor ones do like some of them do but there's nothing i think that gives exploit anymore same with pen size so it's not like no, you could there just... are things that give quake <laughs> right now yes there are things that give quake so you have that option but even then it's exo i think is exo and then you have the people that could you know give you attack powers but okay there's... so this is this has all been like sort of restraining thing you know things might not work blah blah blah, blah. so something that based on what i'm reading can work is you can hypersonic speed in, use. Let me let me just. Okay, so forward. you can use close uh, all at once. You could use close combat expert, exploit weakness, quake, precision strike, steel energy, incapacitate to give a token, um, and then force blast after to knock back three. All so, of that should be able to work with hypersonic based on what this is reading here. Well, okay, uh, they, so, they say they said hypersonic doesn't have the same right. exception that charge and running. Well, no, shot that that's specifically talking about with charge and running shot. You can use the four attack replacements: flurry, mind control, energy explosion. Right. I, I think what we're trying to say, what I how I feel about hypersonic is I would want to <coughs> be cautious. Of, like, I'm an, a very optimistic person. I am being more realist in this scenario that it just doesn't make sense for hypersonic to be that strong. So it, it feels sense. like it still has that caveat where you're limited in what actually works with it. I could be completely wrong because well, at this point, are... at this point, we are talking about conjecture, like what we're assuming is well, going to happen. No, not really. So, um, attack replacements. They, they've limited hypersonic in that it can't use flurry, mind control, energy explosion, pulse wave. Right. That that is the limit. So they right. Based on the reading of this, I, I believe I'm correct in saying that you can hypersonic, 
close combat expert exploit flurry not flurry uh steel energy even blades exploit with hypersonic you can do all that and it seems like the conjecture to me is saying that you can't do that because, well, because okay. Reading says you can, right? Yeah. So I, I, I would agree with the ones you stated. Yeah. Yes. Because you can't, so, I, you can't flurry. You always, I mean, it'd be great if you could pulse wave. Because goodness knows we keep getting those hypersonic pulse wave pieces. But yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think hypersonic you can exploit. You could blades because exploit means you have to get up close. You have to have pen psi. But think about how many hypersonic pieces <laughs> actually have pen psi. Like that's that's the thing with all this is like oh wow all these powers work together we have to keep in mind how many outside of exospecs which is is next on the docket to rotate like all of the pick a power ones are about to rotate you have the surfboard I think is the next hypersonic one uh-huh. like outside Does of that retire? exo was 2018 right I thought it was 17 I thought we've had it for uh, a bit. exo came exo was legal. Along with Tri Sentinel. Uh, we're we're Pokemon about to. We should be. Reti- it's 19, actually. I was wrong. It was the oh, first okay, one so in 19. Got it for a while. Well, right, 18, yeah, so 18 those, is about to retire, if it retires. Those those two things came out. They became legal right after Tyler won Worlds. Mm, yeah, that's true. So, uh, but it was a 2019 con exclusive, so I don't know how that works. Cause it, it would be by, it would be by the number on their thing, I believe. Yeah, right, we're still we're still a year away from that. If rotation happens normal yeah. this year, it'd be next year that we lose it. Because right, so this reading... year this year would be 2018 that we lose. Kinda, because we still have some 2017. Right? That doesn't count. They came out in 2018. Like they're 2017 so... that came out in 2018. That's why they're still legal. All right, all right. I'm gonna anyway, really back anyway, I'm going back. back. I'm going to really back. So I, I would, <clears throat> I'm going to sum that up with saying that as HeroClix competitive players, we will always find pieces and ways to stack powers on powers on powers. Right. We we do not eat peanut butter jelly sandwiches. We eat peanut butter jelly banana bacon, a grilled Big Mac sandwiches, um, when we do things. Right. So. The big questions for me off of this are the the two biggest questions are force blast and handicap. All the other ones seem to work intuitively. They're a lot stronger now. Like you can hypersonic pen psych, for instance. That's something you can do now. Um, so what's what's the question on force blast? Well, force blast is weird because it it always used to require damage, but if it's if it's a static three now and it's an attack improvement. It seems like you can mind control knockback or in cap knockback or do any sort of damage replacement and then knockback. That's true because it says knockback a character when your character has the knockback key phrase as part of a power. Yeah, so, but knockback before was always tied to damage. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's no longer required. Yeah, I'm saying that's weird. It seems very strange to me that you can knock somebody back without dealing damage to them. That is yeah. unusual. Right, right, because they intuitively doesn't make sense. Oh, well, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. The question we have and we don't have an answer for is the sequence. We know okay. that knockback comes in step five. We have to assume that comes after damage. Still, well, sure, but it, so it doesn't intuitively make sense because it, it, the idea was always you're punching someone, they're getting knocked back. It seems weird that you're going to mind control them and then they are sent flying. That's I mean. Weird. Have you seen Jean Grey mind control people yeah. sometimes? She yeah. doesn't. She doesn't. They go then fly. Throw... No, they don't. They just do whatever she tells them to do. That's mm, it. No, I don't if know you... about that. <laughs> yes, that is what happens. All right, so that seems weird to me. In maybe cap... this is. The, maybe it's the buff. To, maybe they put. They took away the TK it's portion, possible. and then just moved it to mind control, <laughs> because we've certainly seen Professor X and Jean Grey. Ah, with their minds and knock people back are like move people so that, maybe yeah. that gets intuitively moved into their mind control portion that, maybe that, we'll see more mind control knock back professor x's okay it, in my mind i could be wrong here but it always seemed like force blast was tied to that and mind control was very specifically giving the opponent a, a, you know mind controlling them essentially 
Um, but it's possible that works now, but I don't know. Um, another one is in cap, right? Can you quake in cap? Can you energy explosion in cap? Um, in cap right now says instead of normal damage, so I don't know if it keeps that key phrase or if it's just way better now. Yeah, um, I mean, if we were doing speculation, because those are the two, we have no idea how it's going to work yet. Yep. I would assume it would keep that caveat because it's just too powerful without it. So you could use energy explosion in cap, but you just don't do the damage. Like, they would have to reword it because that's two instances of replacing normal damage, and you can't do that. Right. So they would have to rephrase that a little bit. Yeah, but, you can, there's a lot of characters with mind control and in cap that, that just share that, so that's a lot stronger now. You can do both of those things. But maybe, like, people have been saying, you know, in cap needs a buff because of the willpower changes. Maybe this is that. Well, that and energy explosion is a buff because it got nerfed to the ground in 2017 because it used to be a lot better. It was tied to bolts and you deal full I, damage to the first person and then bolts to everyone else. Wasn't that how it I, used to be? It, it was. Yeah, but that's I, how it used to I, be. I think energy explosion has always been good. It's always been a good power. Even after the change, it's been... It's, yeah, I mean, it was good after the change. It just wasn't as now, great as it used to be. Maybe. Right, but if now if it combos with Psyblast again... Which it seems to. Ooh. Um like like so hold on, like I don't want to get my hopes up, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so I tell you one of the first um in the old old rules, so pre twenty seventeen, there was the um Age of Ultron movie Hawkeye. Okay? Yeah. I remember him. And he he had triple bolts precision strike. I gave him I think he he had triple bolts precision strike, I think, on dial. I gave him Psy Blast from a entity, and I think Energy <coughs> Explosion from the Phoenix Force. Don't quote me on that combo, but man, I was able to run up, throw the arrow, blast somebody for six, flash three with Psy Blast Precision Strike, because that used to be multi target, and there was no way that they were getting out of that damage. Um, which, you know, I think that's fine that Precision Strike is single target now, but be able to bring in back that ability to uh, energy explode onto someone with impervious or toughness or invulnerability and get that damage, two damage through, whew, whew, man, that, that's... I, 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 I don't want to get my hopes up because that's strong. That's real strong. So, real quick, some of the questions and comments we've been getting. Uh, Brad Royals brings up, so Batman Prime got a buff. That's dependent on how they roll in cap. Like, mind control in cap, oh. if you do both, like, that's crazy. But maybe they allow it. That We're, we're missing so much info, unfortunately, <laughs> with this. Because they're both instead of normal damage effects. So right. Don't know if, but... They say they're both attack improvements, so they combo. Well, mind control Weird. isn't, but in sure, cap but the is. other one is. Yeah. So it should be a, a passive effect. Man, right. mind controlling the board and then giving it all tokens. <laughs> yeah, seems fine. Which is a buff uh, Batman probably needs no, at this point. It, it doesn't seem fine, Tyler. It's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it seems fine now because we keep talking about all these nerfs that Batman's been getting, so maybe he finally gets something to be relevant again. Um do you have the cho he also asked do you have the choice whether powers to use if you which powers to use if you have access to them and that's another good question it, yeah. i assume they're all going to be like maze instead of well, can use but isn't steel energy right now not optional i'm pretty sure it's not steel energy is not yeah right. you, so, you have to heal so, if you do it that's so, why so i think so i think with the maze they're right um you know so let's just assume that i have a character with all of the standard powers that they mention, mm -hmm. just go with me here, right? I I just have that character. Well, it's just so, Legion minus four plot points. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He just has the entire pack, right? Yep. So here's how I think that I, it, this is shaping up. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, I perplex attack. I perplex attack. Okay, I'm going to running shot. And I'm going to use intact replacement. Uh, I want to use it. I don't know. I, let me do that. I'm going to use intact enhancement mind control. Okay. 
and then I don't know. Hold on, I don't know. <laughs> Let me pick a different one. Sorry, I'm going to use pick a different one. I'm going to pick a different one. All right, I'm going to pick attack replacement pulse wave, and I'm going to single target pulse wave this character, but then I I'm going to also choose attack improvements. Side blast, in cap, precision strike, range combat expert. I think that's it. Force blast. And force blast on this character. So I'm going to single target pulse wave him, and then your buddies are all going to get splashed with side blasting energy Wait. explosion. Uh, sorry, no. uh, side, uh, side blast through your stop click, not energy explosion. Sorry. How, how are you hitting other people if you're single target pulse wave? Sorry, I, I said that wrong. I didn't mean the energy explosion part. Okay. Um, now, I will I will say one thing in the rules thing. It says your character can use any number of standard powers listed under attack improvements at the same time. Right. So that also leads me to believe that you get to choose how many, not just you use all of them. You choose, I'm like you said, I activate Pensai, precision, uh, Pensai and Steel Energy. Like Maybe they make it where... Steel energy is optional, and they're just now saying all of these are now optional. It could be, that except except don't... Battle Fury. <laughs> Battle Fury doesn't make sense to make optional. It's just it's <laughs> it's, it's uh, that's why I'm not a huge fan of this article because uh, it's given us a lot of things to speculate about, but it, it doesn't tell us anything. Well, I I would say the most realistic option is that any of them that required a closer range action before loses that caveat but it's an option i would assume because it really? wasn't option before like to do like steel energy wasn't an option in cap was an option you had to do closer range blades claws you needed a close quake you needed a close so if they're taking away requiring that action they're removing the dedicated action then that leads me to believe well they would fundamentally change how that works to where it's always on seems a little too crazy like it makes sense where they still give you that option but you just don't have to have that dedicated action to do it anymore like you could stack them and it's just optional but the ones that didn't have the action optional like steel energy range combat expert battle fury those remain the same like you have those if they're on your dial or not like they're they're static you can't do anything Ex uh, exploit required to close so or even Force Blast, the knockback portion. You don't have a... Well, knockback, I guess, was optional. So I guess yeah, that's... Was always optional. So I, I assume that stays the same as well. Yeah, well, it's a lot of assumptions that it would have been better if we just got the wording. Because it's a lot It's a lot of questions. Now, do you... Uh, another speculation. Do you think they didn't give us the wording because they are changing some of the fundamental wordings on powers? Like um, at yeah, no cost they, or they, I, other things. I think they. I think they have to be. Yeah, because they have to be. Because we've seen some powers, like we've seen, they showed us leap climb, and they, you know, that's what led to the speculation that we're obviously getting one more article because the breakaway thing looks yep. funny. But that, I mean, mm -hmm. unless it's just so much, and they're like, "All right, guys, chill out. Here's the pack." <laughs> like, yeah. I mean. Well, it, so we still get one more article because they haven't talked about Breakaway yet. Right. Yeah, we still get one more. Um, I, um, I don't know. The, wording wise, it it seems like maybe they they get rid of instead of normal damage if they want to do this, um, because then you could use end cap with this kind of stuff, and um, but then you now you can't do that because then my control would do damage. So does this? Oh, okay. This is the one I was thinking about. Is it on here? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh. I, I, I've been thinking about this one, and this and this this kind of confirms that something's happening to me, or right, something has something's happening to it. I should say. <laughs> I was about to say, right, so, how good is this combo? <laughs> <whoa>. <laughs> What's um, happening to all you? Right, all right, all right. Super, super strength. The knockback portion only. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that's because they don't want you to be able to use object attacks and flurry, mind control, energy explosion, well, or pulse wave. The, there's your thing, right? Super strength is not an attack replacement, which it is today. Okay. So that leads me to believe 
that the light object that everybody can use and then that the super strength heavy object situation is going to be changing. I see what you're saying because yeah, if if it was saying the same then super strength should be in the attack replacements. It reading this, if they if they don't change super strength then you could only you can't use it with charge under this attack replacement thing. You can only use it just as a punch, which seems weird. Yeah, so they, they <coughs> might just like a, completely like a static they, yeah, so yeah, so it might it might be that super strength, but you know what? They didn't list super strength under the power actions either. Right, it's not here, is what I'm saying. So because it's... super strength isn't a power action; it's the object attack. Well, the object attack should be attack replacements, right? But it's not a power. Before? It's not a. It's oh, not. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like like it's not a standard mechanic. power. They're listing all standard powers. So right. So if the, if the, go ahead. Uh, you you're saying that. Super strength doesn't give you an action that you can do. The action is make a close uh, close object attack, and they're not listing that here anywhere. Right, because it's not a it's not a power action. It's just an action to do an att a object yeah, attack. Yeah, makes sense. And it's that, not. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm saying, Alex. Is that yeah. super strength becomes its <coughs> own version of an attack? But what but what gets me there, right, is that it, it can't be a close. I don't think I don't think it can be a big close because charge should still grant a big close, which is what your attack replacements become. Yeah. So, I don't think you can charge super strength anymore. But well, that would lead me to believe that super strength is changing to a power action, object attack, but that's not in the power yeah. action section no. of this article so, so my I've... my assumption is that um basically a close object attack would be in the attack replacement thing they just don't list it here because it's not um it's not a specific tied to a specific power right close object attack is not tied specifically to super strength because everybody can do it with a white object right so it, so... it seems like it would be in the attack replacement we don't know but that seems we like... don't know yet but but does that mean <laughs> that if super strength is an attack replacement that it now combos again with exploit weakness with exploit with close combat expert it seems it my that is my <laughs> that is my assumption I, right I so you're I, yes so so i think that so that's where i want to kind of wrap this super strength discussion up as your yeah. conjecture is that super strength works with exploit and charge still or uh, sorry sorry that super strength works with charge still you can still charge pick up a heavy punch someone it will gain the benefits of exploit weakness and close combat expert obviously it still gain it still works with battle fury precision strike still energy i'm not worried about all of that right now might work i'm talking about it might right i'm not i'm not terribly worried about that right, specifically right, right, right. Uh, I'm wor I'm talking about bringing back its interaction with exploit weakness, and super strength object attacks <laughs> used to work with close combat expert as well. Uh, now, yeah, I think so. yeah, you used you used to be able to go. Okay, I'm holding a heavy. I'm right. going to go one and one. I'm at plus three damage, plus one attack. Uh, or you used to have ultra heavies too, so you used to be able to say, I'm holding an ultra heavy. I'm plus three yeah. damage. I'm going to go CCE all into attack and now i'm plus two plus three yeah. um but that's way back in the day um so i think i agree with you tyler i just wish they had listed it in the attack replacement articles i, I think that's the most reasonable outcome yeah but the i would say the conspiracy theorist in me says super strength is changing object objects are object attacks are changing I could be wrong. It doesn't matter if I'm wrong. It doesn't matter if I'm right. Um, I just, I just want that part of this resolved, because the light, the light object buff that everybody got in the 2017 rules change is super strong, and it, it always has been, right? That's how you, that's how you, that, you know, that's how you destroy the light objects, right? You throw them into the air. So that's what um, I was going to say. It, they, they seem to want to get rid of that, and it still seems weird that you can make a closer range object attack without a target to destroy an object. So it, seemed, right. it does seem like they want to change that. So it does seem like that that's going to go away. That's my conjecture, uh, is that something about that is going to go away here soon. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's just they didn't list it because it's an inherent ability. Everybody could do it. They didn't want to put super strength because then everyone would be asking, well, what about people using light objects? Could I use a light object in exploit? Like, it's just because it's like you don't have to have super strength to make an object attack. So that's why I don't think it's listed there. I, do, I don't know if they'll change it because I think they're probably happy where objects are because they were just ridiculous before, I feel like. Like, everyone was using them. And they're really wanting to control or limit damage modifiers and making it where hypersonic or like all these extra things can now use objects seems risky like even adding exploit to an object seems risky but i also agree that's probably the likely outcome is that you'll be able to charge with a heavy object and use close combat expert and exploit because they're all attack improvements and it's just an attack like it's just a close op close object action that you make a close attack with so, so yeah i agree with that um so yeah. another conjecture this seems like a he, pretty huge buff to mind control right it because intuitively it seems like on a mind control attack you can use all of these attack improvements that's so very true that's very true passive effects now yeah um, yeah but which one would even make Oh, so like the well, the close ones I think make more sense than the ranged ones. Well, you definitely get th this list just intuitively. It says you know we're buffing close attacks more than range attacks because there's way more close attack powers there. Um, right. Yeah, but so it seems like you could mind control quake, mind control um, exploit, mind control CCE, mind control blades. Um, mind well, control so the maybe. the maybe all of the, them. The exploit doesn't necessarily work if you, as long as you're not dealing damage no no but, no no, 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 no. The he's talking about the character you, the mind, control, you mind control their attack yeah oh yeah 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 no obviously right. yeah the, the we've known that since the cce rce buff well we didn't know it worked with exploit blades claws fangs precision strikes steel energy in cap oh yeah i all right i get what you're saying it's yeah, a buff that mind control needed mind control was <laughs> good but what if, eh, what if they bring back the feedback damage eh? I, I, they would put something in there about will. that it's too uh, close to pushing damage they'd also have uh, to reword so many characters <laughs> yeah I um mean, well, gonna have to do that anyway. yeah um real quick richard shaw says how is prime vulcan going to work with his pulse wave um, he just starts with running shot, right? So just running shot, pulse wave. Yeah, that, yeah, that his won't change. I guess if he has any other powers that can stack with pulse wave, then he, he's got side maybe. blast on dial. So oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah so, so that means he might Wimper, be able to get through some dark phoenixes and stuff like that now. Well, Wendigos. Which uh, they got a big buff too, by the way. Charge flurry exploit. Oh my god, you're right. Because they start with I exploit. Still, I still have nineteen of them. Let's go. <laughs> all right now that this isn't all that we learned is there anything we want to talk about with possible combos i we talked about a lot of them uh the person i'm most excited about and i, uh, I still have is my unleashed shazam the i don't know if he's a chase or an le like the 256 point one i think he's an le but he he's i he, he's like 15 years old or something but he has hypersonic um hypersonic quake and exploit and oh kc shazam from unleashed yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 seems like you can use all that now and it, it annoyed me when i was a kid when i got this piece oh but piece. you you mean the kc shazam with this activation click that you can no longer no. get him activated off of no that's the yeah. rare that's the rare uh it's actually i think a unique not a oh, you're talking. Talk you're talking about the no the twenty one. Yeah, no the zero eighty eight okay. Shazam from Unleashed is listed as a rare. Yeah, but the rare wasn't a thing back there. It was common, uncommon, veteran, right? No, no, I, I see what you're talking about. It's actually the two twenty one version that you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, for five. Yeah. I nice. Like <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, we, get... we did get some rules questions from other articles, right? Is there anything that we want to? Well, uh, let's finish with this article real quick because there was the okay. Q&A at the end that I think actually opens the door for a lot of things that I really want to talk about. Um, 
they referenced the how does my character with colossal stamina as part of a trade or special power work now and they said hey it's just you're going to use it how it used to be 2017 rules you're cool don't worry about it um yeah how will my character work that can use close combat expert or range combat expert as free or at no cost? This was a big one. We'll be posting exact wording, errata, to the rules form, but those characters will get a chance to make a close or ranged attack. So they're actually going to be a little stronger than before. That This would apply to characters like Champion from Avengers Black Panther and Illuminati, or Frenzy, everyone's favorite rare from X-Men animated series. Uh, try to match... They didn't say that. I added that in there. Uh, trying to match these characters to exactly what they did before was in the spirit of the new rules and would be very wordy for a rules perspective. So that's potentially a decent amount of erratas that they're going to have to do. Um, this next one actually makes me... Oh, actually, it's the one after this, too. Or two after this. How will my character work that can use TK but only to do something that TK no longer does? We'll be posting exact wording to the rules form for characters that this applies to. Star Girl is an example. As much as possible, these figures will work like they always have. In future, this is the big statement. In the future, special powers or traits might still allow for special versions of TK. I that seems fine. That well, this this explain like this design wise like I, i'm thinking as a designer this makes so much more sense on why they're doing some of the things they're doing and they reference this also like with knockback also like given the new rules of knockback how about characters that specify how how much they knock back or that they do additional x knockback and they mention you know there's some exceptions that will need an errata there won't be any falling down damage but they don't reference there's no they won't allow any knockback damage just they yeah. just say there'll be no falling damage so in my head like design wise this now makes sense because you know you have some in the marvel and dc universe you have some telepaths and telekinetics that you know are much stronger and weaker than others and there's also some that just like they help move people but then you have magneto who literally throws things and so having everybody under one blanket power doesn't really do a good job of um, ex like showing the difference of power between, you know, Joe Schmo and Magneto, if they both could just throw an object six things. Now I know you could say better attack power, range, maybe Magneto does more damage, but this is kind of sets the bar a little bit lower on TK, so that way they have maybe a little bit more variety, and they could say, okay, this person of Wonder Woman, she's a pretty good, not it's not telepath, right? What is someone who could use tele? Telekinetic. Telekinetic. Yeah, tele telekinesis. Yeah, telekinesis. Telekinesist. Telekinetic. All right, telekinetic. telekinetic. Like, this, in my head, means that they can give them... Like, we're obviously not done with te uh, telekinesis doing object attacks. We are as a standard power, but that means Magneto down the road could have yeah. one where he throws objects. Say I feel the same way maybe about knockback. Like they might be willing to if there's some someone like comically when they knock someone back they take damage somehow. Like this this to me is something they should have said from the beginning at the beginning. Like we're toning the, some of these powers down, but we're gonna use special powers and traits to maybe have some of these kind of back, if that makes sense. Like all they said was, yeah, TK's not going to do attacks anymore. And everyone's like, well, what about Magneto? What about this guy? And it's, If they had said, hey, if they had said this from the beginning, I don't think there would have been as many people as upset, is what I'm trying to say. Because now I'm okay yeah. with knockback. Now I'm okay with TK. Because it's like, hey, I might get a character who should have TK that deals attacks now. Cool. Yeah. I just needed to know that was a realm of possibility. Because otherwise, I think Magneto's never going to be how he should be going forward. Right. So, that's what I like about this. Um, I, I think this was a good answer, and I, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, they had a typo in the fourth question that they fixed really quickly. Um, water terrain is just clear terrain, period. It is only there now. For if you have the dolphin symbol or anything else that uh, that speaks about bonuses for water terrain, that's yeah. all it's there for. I don't like that. Um, 
I, I don't like it because it's water. You shouldn't be able to, unless you can run on water, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have the same speed. I, it makes sense if they're trying to simplify and everything. I would have liked if they kept water distinct from hindering, and this would have made it even more distinct um, than it is now, which is not very. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I, I would have been, I would have rather they, they kept water how old hindering worked, but for simplicity's sake, I'm not super upset about it, I guess. So, so here's my thought, right? And here's so people be asking me what's my what's my you know least favorite rules change, um, which was one of our questions we got, I think. It is right. It, it was <laughs> right. Um, uh, was it the, who asked that? Uh, Spencer White. So you know what? It's I, I don't know how to put this to put this. It's it's the different ways that. Can, Competitive players are going to make new players feel bad changes. <laughs> okay. So I can no longer, and this is just is what it is. It's not competitive. It's not a spite thing. It's not a mean thing. It's not a. It's it's using the rules of the game to to play their the maximum. game, yep. right to their maximum. Right. That's competitive. Right. It's not a mean thing. So instead of using hindering terrain and watering terrain and orange batteries to stop my opponent from getting to me. I'm now going to stacks on stacks on stacks powers, and I'm going to running shot, pulse wave, side blast, precision strike, you know, or I'm going to come up with a whale that's gotten quake and exploit together, and it's going to yeet you off the map. That sounds um, cool. Yeah, right. Or I'm going to have RCE and side blast together on a character, or I'm going to get that from an object, or you know, get that from a scientist guy in the new set. Right, my my RC character may not have side blast, but old Nathaniel White scientist is going to give me side blast, so I'm going to get through your defense. <laughs> Nathaniel I'm going to have plus White, one, plus one. It wasn't that what his name was. Nathaniel Richards. Nathaniel White's a, a one of our fans, I believe. Yeah, and that's same thing, right? Yeah, um, <laughs> not quite. Um, so right, it, it's it's there. Hero Clicks is still going to. I think have a higher high level of entry. It's going to be very simple, but it's still going to be expensive and there is still a threshold to cross a learning curve. It has a high learning curve. It still has a high learning curve regardless. I think the how do I want to put this right? Instead of uh if you're trying to teach somebody how to walk up a hill, right, you know, you're being able to get them up the hill, right? But the 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 things they encounter on that hill are different, right? Instead of getting attacked by a mountain lion, it's a bobcat. I don't know. That's a terrible thing. Yeah, that, I don't know where you're going with that analogy. That's a, that's a, that I don't know either, right? But it's like, <laughs> it's like it's still in casual play, right? It's... You know, there's still the, all these powers are going to stack, and the guy that brings the chase that has all the powers is still going to beat up on the common. I guess is what I'm trying to say poorly. Um, you yeah, know, it, Heroclix is always going to have a high learning curve. There's no real getting around that. These rules changes were just to try to limit the bad play experiences of new players as much as they can. I think they've done an okay job on that. There's still going to be some, but a, a lot of these changes are just like, yeah, okay. I, you know, I've had to call a judge on this eight different times because a newer player doesn't understand how when knockback damage is applied or how breakaway works or how hindering movement works with sidestep, blah, 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 like over and over again. Um, so it seems like they're trying to, to remove those bad play experiences. Obviously, there's still going to be some, and it, it is a high learning curve. So if you're a player, you it's gonna, there's going to be feel bad moments, but hopefully the changes uh, address a lot. Yeah, of I think I think it, I think it'll address a lot of the common feel bad call judges moments. So again, I'm, I'm overwhelmingly positive about all of this, but as I go through this and I read the article today, and I'm like, oh, so it looks like I can EE -E and side blast again. Boy, that's going to feel bad when I have a con exclusive lightning and incandescent ring. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know uh, what? 
I think the reason they didn't put out powers is that because they don't want to show that TK it no longer says you can place a character because they're changing that wording to something that's not place. So, Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> that's my hope. Uh, uh, the last question they mentioned on here is why has Flurry been eliminated? I guess people were asking about Flurry. <laughs> Because of the whole argument about, well, you got double bolts, you're attacking yeah. two characters. But no, it's it's different. Like, it's... like it's, it's, It is a little confusing. A lot of times, two bolts and flurry will have the same UK use case, but there's slight differences that good players will take advantage of. Yeah, I'm also interested uh, who these players are who reached out to them, letting them know that some figures they think will see more play. Static... 43 Static from Justice League, Huntress from Justice League, Ninja <coughs> from Batman, and Trapster. I'm a little sad. Robbie Reed's not on this list. Um, I sent them the email. Um, Were you... Can, can we go one rule change without referencing Robbie freaking Reed? I don't know why he's not on this list. Um <laughs> <laughs> little sad here. He Clearly, I sent an email... Um, why is ninja better why is trapster better i mean they didn't say better for meta they just said better so <laughs> i mean trapster's always been good oh he's got willpower printed Tra oh and that's probably the ninja too because they could attack twice and not push oh man can you imagine trapster constantly shooting you with his glue gun yep. that's that's the hero clicks dream man Hero click stream right there. Just... Batman the animated series. Uh charge blade super senses. Yeah, I don't get it. Right, it's because he doesn't take pushing damage. Once they take I... pushing damage, they lose the charge blades. Like that's that can't be it. Yes. That's a hundred percent it. Out of a thousand characters that are in modern, this is the one that benefits from that chain. <laughs> he he so doesn't even like a horse in this thing. He has stealth, and at the beginning of your turn, for all characters of straight, choose a standard power that Ninja has printed on this card. This turn, all ninjas and ninja bystanders can use that power. Okay, uh, so he can use charge. Oh, and, and, no, he can he, always do that. It's, a le it's, charge. Charge. it's the leap climb. He, oh it's my the leap God. climb. He can there use charge and leap climb together. Let's go. Because they didn't sidestep. He can sidestep up a wall. Yeah, because they, they didn't know about the exploit change at this point. <laughs> yeah, <so>. I know. <laughs> it's not even a change because you could always play to exploit. But... True. So, yeah, Leap Climb. Mate, did someone finally find a use for Leap Climb? Who is this person? We want to know. You could come on the show. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> found a I'm use not, for Ninja. <laughs> I'm not. I want to. If you have proof of the email and not fabricating it in Photoshop, I uh, you can be on the show. <laughs> and what. It, yeah. <laughs> on the second click, right? But it, it, it's on, it's no, on the, the first, first click. click. No, you don't can't combo leap climb with that. With sidestep, yeah, you can. It's just a no, no, no. Click. No, they, they. It's on the first. If they're on their first click, they all have to use sidestep. So you can't sidestep of the wall. Oh, you can't use both. It's once per turn, so you can only pick one power. Yeah. Right. Choose a stand. Oh, okay. But Someone, so, hey, we're we're gonna be caught off guard when somebody shows up with their twenty ninja, <laughs> or not twenty. That's way too many. Uh, eight ninja spider hammer eye build. I am gonna be caught off guard if they come with twenty ninjas. <laughs> yeah, if they come with twenty, I got special rules from Wiz Kids where I'm allowed to play twenty ninjas in a prime Batman. Here, here's my here's my uh, email that I sent them. Oh, hey. Um, I, I do like it, right? So now you're making me wonder, like, Huntress we knew because she's got a full dial of CCE and RCE. Um, Trapster, that's just, he's got willpower, and that's legit. Like, a continually acting Trapster, I'm down. Uh, why Static? Because um... people finally want to play Static? I don't know. Is it Which one? Is it 043? Yeah. TK, his TK got worse uh, when he makes an attack with more than one target. Oh, maybe if he gets a click two, he can hypersonic target attack. Yeah, but still do only one one damage to them all, or three to one, or whatever. Yeah, I don't I don't get that one. He has no leap climb on his dial. When static makes an attack with more than one target, 
Modify damage plus one for oh. each target within three squares with him and give each oh, hit no. character an action token. Hold on. That's maybe it's just si That's maybe it's just simply the no pushing damage again. Modify damage. Maybe. No, it's not. Modify damage plus one for each target within <laughs> three squares of him. Oh, I think oh, that's, yeah. because it's he's, that. a, he's a modified damager. Well, he can triple target with that, with the chain lightning. I'm that starting to think Tyler's the one that sent this in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It, it gets more rare that you can modify damage. Uh, sure. Because that's, sure. that's the perplex chain. I don't even know why this is a thing. We're just conjecturing here. Hey, um, uh, we're trying to listen the, to the community, man. We've got players right. who are excited about these four figures. That's true. I'm not. Uh, I'm and not we want our that. listeners to know what to expect. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have submitted Prime Thanos. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, maybe I should say, "Hey, a Golden Age figure that I'm loving to try with kids is Unimind. He never saw any play." All right, we'll we'll bring him out with an errata. No, <laughs> no, not an errata. Yeah, you know, I I take a legacy card for Uni in a heartbeat. You know, you were talking about Prime Thanos earlier, and I kept thinking She Hulk is gonna love another Prime character popping out. That's gonna be great. <laughs> I need more Prime characters being popular. That's true. All right, do we have any other questions that we missed? Um, I mean, David Herberger asked. I mean, is stunning blow now a thing? We don't know. Um, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Dumas didn't read the article. Um, Jose uh, wanted to know if we could do a barrel roll to evade combo damage, or what about combo breaker? That's a thing to do. Um, yes, uh, that's true. I yeah. Love you. Uh, that's true. Emmanuel, we answered all of the combos that we can think of right now. There's more to come, I'm sure. Um, that was the pre-asked questions. Cool. Um, anybody else get any other questions? Kiefer Lamp, did you mention his? Does charge, flurry, exploit, steel energy, precision strike, blades, claws work all together? Um, yes. Apparently. As long as you target... Yeah, as long as you don't double target or use your bolts to target multiple people, then yes. Otherwise, precision strike won't work because um, sure. it has to be a single target. So, man, or and blades. I think that the, both. Will I work. think that this man really. I would. I would. I would very much hope that Pat considers banning Vulture and Majestic's age. Why? He, he didn't before. Why would he now? He's got worse. I don't know. I'm just saying, man. Because I mean, no, he got he got like he got better. He got of. better today. He got better. He, he, today he got better. Today is a vulture buff. He's he's anything. got like five buffs and one nerf, but I don't know. We'll see if the nerf outweighs the buff because it was well. Good. So, but so you can just. I'm just thinking offhand here, right? <laughs> Um, in in Golden Age, you can give him the uh, boxing glove, Joker's gas, and the Ock arms, um, and he's he's plus one attack, he's plus two attack, plus two damage that away. With Battle Fury, with Flurry, there's ID cards that could grant him Precision Strike or Exploit. I mean, that stacks pretty easily. Uh, you can even give him a relic. Man, that's just a wild, wild west. And this uh, old, uh, old vulture is getting pretty good. He's getting a little bit more nerfs than, or more buffs than nerfs. In Golden Age, to clarify, in Golden Age. In Golden Age. And Modern, I think he's getting more. He's got a, he's finally got a hard nerfs. counter, though. Like, a legit hard counter. What, what? I mean, She-Hulk is legit a hard counter for him. Yeah, but if she sucks against the rest of the field, though. What? Well, no, Fantastic Four. Form, I'm, I'm telling you, forming the Fantastic Four uh, fixes form, that. Because you can switch it, her out. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. If you're not going against Vulture. And then you could pick 
the or plethora. you can bring her. You you can bring her in, right? If you face a vulture, that's probably the play, right? Yes, she's on the sideline currently for the team I'm building, as she is an option okay. to bring in if I'm facing Spo- vulture, punisher, spoiler war machine. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I haven't spoiler fleshed out alert. the whole team, but I was talking today with PJ, and I was like, yeah, she she makes the sideline a hundred percent because, like, there's a lot of primes right now, and vulture is the one you have to build around is she she's not like she's like the equalizer for him she doesn't hard counter like he's garbage but you have to play differently because you only deal one damage maximum to everyone you hit adjacent to she hulk and i can i mean i could position to where you're kind of hose and it's not like you could just go up and kill her she's got good stats i mean she's got involved i think she's got impervious then she might just have involved um, at the, 70, the 75 point. That, uh, Time Doom Machine also hurts Vulture. Um, nice off arms you got there. Shame if something happened to them. Because he can just <laughs> take them. Yeah. Hey, funny yeah. enough, DJ Doom is also on my fan of my Fantastic Four team. <laughs> Potentially, you could you could uh, Time Machine Doom is called. I call him DJ Doom because he looks like he's at a like a DJ table. Um, because he's got the there, table there was, in front of him. Well, there was there was a rap rapper that died a couple, uh, recently that was called MF Doom. Yeah. Um, yeah. you could technically also bring him on the Fantastic Four team with the Isotope, but you have to main board Uncommon or Deep Cut Doom in order to do uh, that with the Isotope Three. I just don't think that works. It does in this instance because it if you main board Doom. Then he's on your team on your team when the beginning of game action happens, right. beginning of game, and that's when you use the isotope three. So you can't switch him in and then do it. So, but if you main board him on your Fantastic Four, he has Wait, Fantastic there, there, Four. Is his name the same though? It's both Doctor Doom. Oh, that's right, because he is the one that is Doctor Doom. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Which one has the okay. Fantastic Four? uncommon 023 and the deep cuts okay so you could you could have those on the fantastic four team yes like you can't switch him in like you can't do fantastic forming the fantastic four bring in that doom and then isotope but if i'm playing a fantastic four team i main board dr doom form fantastic four everyone else and then i could do the dr doom isotope thing because they're both separate things like they both the check for beginning a turn happens. Okay, you just wouldn't get any beginning of game effects for the Doom. Universe. Right, so I can't switch DJ Doom to another Doom. But right. DJ Doom is good, so I, I'm probably okay with that. Like, Yeah, you have to be committed to DJ Doom. Yeah, and... You, you, but DJ Doom, you wouldn't get the... So, like, the beginning of the game roll 2d6. You wouldn't get that at all, because it's the beginning of the game. Um, that probably hurts it. But you could do it with... Uh, you can't do it with any of the other Dooms. Can you, you still get the time platform? So you I, do. I would have to weigh the options. Like, it's an option I'm considering while I'm building the right. team if I want DJ Doom or not with the time platform. Because the time platform is just so good. So it's like... And when he uses it, it's even better. So it's like, okay, do I want to use that? Because I could yank objects. He could just go out there and just mess people up. So... Sure, not having the 2d6 is kind of sad, but it it's debating about whether his he's only 75 points. So is that enough? So All right, don't give away your whole form the fantastic four. Yeah, I'm going to do a tonight. live stream about that like next week, I think. Yeah. Talking more about how crazy that is now. So All right, anything else for tonight? I am good. Yep. All right. Well, so for anybody keeping track, we are through. Oh, about halfway through the super rares on our set review. Um, I don't know how anybody would be keeping track. (laughs) Well, there probably people want to keep track for when the the review is going to be coming out. The podcast is going to be coming out. So, so if you're curious about how the week's going on the podcast, probably uh, finish it. Probably finish it up tomorrow, and I'll probably have it up. Friday, assuming we don't lose power here in Kentucky because of the ice. Yeah, apparently um, it snowed or something. 
Yeah, it's a I bunch don't of ice. ice anymore, so I don't notice it. Yeah, so a bunch of ice here in Kentucky, hoping to not uh, lose power. But uh, anyways, thanks everybody for listening tonight. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's night, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, see ya. See ya.